Look at this. This is just crazy. Let's just play this Fox one, this number 10. I just find this fascinating. My daughter is applying to colleges. We start, you know, we, we've been taking, uh, doing college tours, and I, she's like, I want to ask if you're allowed to have pets on campus. And I'm like, what? You're not allowed to have pets on campus? Yeah, kids these days, damn. We're not allowed to have pets. But it turns out, a lot of these places you are. Holy crap. And, um... I'm a conservative now. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to how upsetting it is to the people on Fox News that you can have cats at college. Protester, where you're out there protesting about everything on campus, then I don't know if you really need a cat. I, I'm not really sure, but this is just another example Wait, go back. of how... Did we just start uh, at the beginning, or did we cut off... Oh, sorry, it, this is just, they didn't announce the, this isn't just like the, the intro is just not, in, it's just like the discussion. Okay, okay. Raising snowflakes. <laughs> because, I mean, if you honestly can't make it in college, then just drop out. I mean, I, well, although I know a lot of people oh. want to take advantage of the freebies, but just drop out anyway. Do us all a favor. I don't think animal rights activists would be too proud of this either. I wouldn't want any college student manhandling my cat. <laughs> yeah, but Kaylee, I don't think these kids need cats. I think they need discipline. I think they need a mm, slap yep. in the face. Because these are the same <laughs> kids that get a professor fired for being too hard on their way to medical Great school. Point. These are kids that can't even listen to a conservative Great viewpoint. Point. They shout out speakers they chase them off campus but a cat will make everything better guess what that doesn't work in the real world yeah you're talking about my my professor that i love so much <laughs> i got in by you and yeah. we, yes yeah, okay. no i remember uh, on one of my campuses getting a note that there would be dogs and puppies for us uh, to soothe us during exam time <laughs> and i thought is this real <laughs> i mean no what a distraction for kids who don't want to study number know. one <laughs> number two i don't need to be coddling a puppy i need my you know organic chemistry Chemistry book. If I'm, you know, in, in pre-med here, this is insanity. Give me a cup of coffee, a cookie, and a stack of books, mm -hmm. and I'm set. Oh, you need, need a, a cookie. cookie. You need a cookie. Do you know how like twist? Like these people are so twisted. It really is nuts. First off, I, I personally, I, I have two cats 50% of the time, and don't tell my kids this, but I would be happy to have two cats 0% of the time. But if a kid wants to maintain a cat in college, like my response would be like, why would you want that? You're going to have yeah. to do extra work and take care of this thing. Don't you want to go out and party? It's going to be harder to protest your racist teachers. Yeah, exactly. I mean, but, but how like they, 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 there is such animosity on this network to young people because it is, again, the entire conservative ideology is aggrievement. And they know that the vast majority of people watching this network are well into their 60s. Yeah. Well into their 60s. And if they can stoke any type of resentment, like I don't understand. Like Kids how need discipline to be slapped in the face. Like, in oh. college. And, and like, well, like, I don't understand how like the, like the, the idea of it's somehow easier for you if you have to like keep a pet alive at college like my first reaction would you be like dude why would you want that responsibility yeah. like i can barely get you to clean the kitty litter now like you're gonna want to go to some concert like a few cities away and but like you're not gonna want to have to have cat sitters all the no. time in your dorm are you kidding <laughs> but Good for them if they can like like take care of a, another living being yeah. while they're going to college you know like my god that promotes responsibility and like yeah like they're mad that it might help some people out emotionally like why do you care just give me a cookie and and, and just give me like caffeine and a, and a cookie what, what why do you deserve that yeah maybe you should like it maybe you'd rather a slap yeah my grandpa only had water and bread exactly i mean really why do you even need food it's unbelievable and look at look at the lives that these people live too. Oh my God! I, I mean, it's just <laughs> former Trump press secretary. Uh, and then, of course, you're not going to be able to have a cat in the real world. Yeah, you know what? Like, I, I'm, I'm. What? Where do cats and dogs right. live? They live. If, 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 if you're not going to have them in college, how do people have them? And people, people like like you said, who are literally responsible for them, like being alive, Wait, keeping it, them alive. <laughs> there's no, there's no pets in the real world. What? Also, that that motive, like. Where they exist. Uh, 
I, I'm about 34, soon to be 34, and talking about college like this would be embarrassing to me now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, when I was in college, we just do that. Give me, I can just order a sub sandwich. I'll study for eight hours. I did nothing at all. <laughs> First of all, I got news for you. I don't know how old uh, these people are, but there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that the level of discipline and studying that goes on in colleges today is significantly higher than it was at the very least when I went to school. I don't think they're that much younger than me. Okay, uh, but I went on to I, I mean I went to campus. Went to uh, my uh, the the school I went to for a tour with Mila, and I and I went up to the tour guy and I'm like, so what night are the campus wide kegs? And the guy was like, what? <laughs> like, what do you mean? What? Like, what night are the campus night cakes? They're like, we don't, we don't do that. And I'm like, you don't do that. We had like official keg parties like five nights a week. Matt Kelly, Matt Kennedy is actually uh, 34. Right. She's your contemporary. <laughs> oh my she God. Harvard Law. <laughs> Wait, she? She's 34, yeah. That woman right there? Yeah. yeah. It's the same age She's as Matt. Matt. <laughs> a little bit, one a few, year few, old. A few months old, a few months oh old. Oh my God. Matt. She honestly, like, that's when I think of like a, like a, like a, like a 62 year, like she looks like she's like trying to, I don't know. Like she's trying to look like the an same adult. Makeup as, yeah. yeah. It's really, that's, that's something. Matt looks way younger than Kaylee McEnany. Yeah. I, it's hard for me to imagine that you two could have been like, on the same dorm room floor. Oh my God. Yeah. Harvard Law she went to. Hmm. Yep, just a coffee and a cookie.